up to now we have discussed in detail large vessel vasculitis that was Takayasu's vasculitis and temporal giant cell arthritis right now we will talk about medium vessel vasculitis medium vessel vasculitis can be easily remembered there are basically three categories they can be easily remembered by this diagram right and this diagram is showing that there's Kawasaki baby going to pan burgers right what it should remind that medium sized vasculitis consists of Kawasaki disease which is in the babies Kawasaki disease which is in the babies and also remember remind you that other two categories of medium sized vasculitis is pan pan stand for polyarthritis nodosa and the third category is Berger's disease now let's discuss Kawasaki disease in detail okay you know Kawasaki is one of the very uh, very good motorcycle they think I'm promoting them yes Kawasaki from Japan so let me make that motorcycle and this is your Kawasaki motorcycle and here is your Kawasaki baby why I say there is Kawasaki baby because this disease Kawasaki disease is yes Kawasaki disease is limited to babies 80% of the patient with Kawasaki disease are less than four years old right so most so we can say it's a disease of infants and very young children Kawasaki disease Kawasaki disease and other name for this condition is yes mucocutaneous mucocutaneous lymph node lymph node syndrome right now in Kawasaki disease you can remember by this diagram there's a baby let's imagine there's a baby which is very very young maybe just three four year old and sitting on motorcycle and somehow it gets the motorcycle at full speed what will happen eyes of the babies will become red you know they, they are very delicate conjunctiva and there's fast speed of motorcycle so eyes conjunctiva become red baby is opening its mouth so mouth is also red and heart of the baby is sinking with foot speed cardiac complications are there right and his hands are also red inflamed red with side speed trying to control the motorcycle right and of course they are footrest and here he is trying to adjust the gears and when baby is trying to adjust the gear here and here now even feet and sole of the feet are also red right now look at this very sad baby right very very sad baby sitting on the Kawasaki motorcycle right going to the pan burgers right now this is Kawasaki baby what are the real features of this disease number one that in this disease a very important thing is that medium sized arteries are inflamed let's look at the heart you know heart is supplied by which arteries coronary arteries isn't it and coronary arteries this is a coronary artery I draw here coronary artery in these babies are having transmural inflammation inflammatory cells are present into all layers of the coronary artery for example the inflammatory cells are present in media in intima as well as in adventitia so this transmural inflammation of coronary arteries and when coronary arteries are so much inflamed naturally there may be thrombosis in the coronary artery or there may be aneurysm in long term cases right and if there's thrombosis then blood flow to the heart will reduce and when blood flow to the myocardium is reduced that may lead to myocardial infarction or even sudden death so 
unfortunately in some babies uh, coronary artery disease coronary artery rather may be so severely inflamed that blood flow to the myocardium is reduced at the top if the thrombus is formed within right if a thrombus is formed within this inflamed artery then there's dangerous reduction to the blood flow to the myocardium that may precipitate myocardial infarction in fact they say in japan and usa in young children the most common cause of acquired heart disease is kawasaki disease in japan and usa the most common cause of acquired heart disease is kawasaki disease now in kawasaki disease uh, this vasculitis is associated with mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome what really happens that some of these baby rather all of the almost all of these babies they develop mucocutaneous complications for example they develop fever along with conjunctivitis red eyes oral mucosa may become red their palms and soles may become red and palms and soles may be edematous skin may have uh, red rashes right so these babies develop a medium sized arterial inflammation but you have to remember most important inflammation occurs in coronary artery right this is a problem with the younger children and there may be you can say this may be associated with mucocutaneous lymph node syndrome in which there may be conjunctival inflammation or oral erythema erosion and edema of hands and feet or erythema mean redness of palms and soles right or skin rashes may be there with discrimination and this situation is epidemic in japan right and again it is the most common cause of acquired heart disease in young children in usa and japan it uh, the vasculitis specially should be mentioned about which artery coronary artery right where it may be in milder cases it may be asymptomatic coronary artery inflammation but in more severe cases it may lead to aneurysm formation or thromb thrombosis or eventually in some cases it may lead to myocardial infarction right uh, giving the baby aspirin or intravenous gamma globulin significantly reduces complications especially cardiac complication we are not very sure what is the pathogenesis but what they believe that some people are pre some babies are predisposed uh, to develop this syndrome or kawasaki disease when some infection triggers the immune system they believe that immune system in these baby has developed auto antibodies directed against the endothelial cells of blood vessels and smooth muscle cells of the blood vessels right do you have any question there's no question okay now you know about the kawasaki baby kawasaki is the type of vasculitis which occurs in babies right produces what cardiac complications may produce red eyes erythema in the oral cavity palms and soles may be erythematous with rashes on the body class dismissed